Hey guys, welcome to another product showcase video. Today's product comes to us from Scythe. This is their Mine 2 CPU cooler. Okay, first off, this is a, a new release from Scythe. This is their uh, Mine 2 CPU cooler. This is designed to work on the newest of sockets that are out here. Uh, the Intel LGA 1155, 1156, 1366. Also works on the older uh, LGA 775 platform also. As well as the AMD, AM2, AM2 Plus, and AM3 processors. So basically any of your modern uh, CPUs that are out there this will work on. This is a, a nice big cooler. Comes with a lot of uh, hardware and stuff for your different mounts, uh, different features for it. <clears throat> we'll get into the specifications. I will uh, post them on the uh, video itself for you to read. I'm just gonna give you a quick look around the box here, some of the different images of it, as well as the backing plates. Uh, wide range cooling process, FM SB3. Uh, midship layout and multi-fan mount structure also comes with a fan controller with PWM or VR switch so you'll be able to uh, control the fan manually or let your motherboard control it so let's uh, open up the box and have a look at what comes with it okay inside the box we get the uh, backing plate itself universal backing plate for uh, AMD or Intel these are our mounting brackets for our different uh, Intel and AMD setups, as well as a bag with the uh, screws and nuts to uh, mount it onto the uh, CPU cooler itself. And they also include a small container of their thermal compound uh, to mount it onto your CPU itself. Comes with a quick installation guide that'll uh, show you how to mount it in the various uh, configurations whether you're going with AMD or Intel as well as some of the uh, part numbers and stuff for the various items and of course the uh, cooler itself let's set this stuff aside and have a closer look at the cooler okay before we get too much into the detail on the CPU cooler let me give you all the boring specs on it because uh, some of you will want them to know whether it's going to fit in your case uh, dimensions on this are 130 millimeter by 143 millimeter by 160 millimeter so basically in inches that's going to be 5.12 inches by 5.63 inches by 6.30 inches this weighs in at 40 ounces with the fan it's a quite heavy cooler um, the base on this is a nickel plated, plated copper it comes pre-installed with a 40, 140 millimeter slipstream fan this is a PM or PWM NVR fan dimensions on the fan are 140 by 140 by 25 millimeter fan speeds vary from 1200 rpms to 1700 rpms uh, noise level on it is uh, 23.2 decibels on low up to 36.4 decibels on high Airflow on this is a minimal of uh, 65.2 CFM, running all the way up to 92.4 CFM. So um, that's the basics on it. Let's have a uh, closer look at the cooler itself. I'm going to flip it over here so you can see the uh, heat pipe set up on it. It's got eight heat pipes running up each side total of 16 heat pipes to disperse the heat for you into the two separate towers as you can see the 140 millimeter fan sandwiched in there it does come included with just the single fan but there are uh, mounts on uh, both sides that uh, you could add additional clips and add additional fans to it it doesn't come with them but you can order the clips separately um, from sites website and you can also order additional fans from their website also so you could mount a second fan on here or you could even mount three fans on here if you really want to go for optimum cooling um, beautiful design very sturdy 
very uh, thick fins on it so it's not going to bend real easy beautiful machined finish on the base itself we'll pull the protector back a little bit just so you can get a good look at that uh, beautiful finish that they put on them for heat conductivity okay our typical connectors on here are it has a four wire uh, motherboard style plug-in for the fan you could run it on a three wire also but if you want to use the uh, motherboard uh, sensors to control the speed of the fan you can plug it right into where your standard uh, CPU cooler would plug into this is the uh, controller that they give you with it let me see if I can get this out of the bag here for you this is going to let you adjust the fan speed manually or use the uh, motherboard itself to control it um, here's your your fan selector see if you can pick that up it says BR here and PWM here so if you want to control it manually you just simply switch it into your VR mode and then you can use your rheostat type controller to control the fan speed all the way from low to high anywhere in between and if you simply want to use the motherboard to control it and use the temperature sensors on the board you just simply switch it over to PWM and now the uh, motherboard will run the fan for you so you don't have to worry about adjusting it when you're gaming or reading email or what have you it'll, it'll temperature adjust it through the motherboard itself <clears throat> very well constructed cooler so it is a sizable cooler so you want to make sure that you have uh, adequate space in your case for this type of a cooler uh, a lot of uh, mid tower cases and smaller um, the side covers are too close to put in a big cooler like this so you definitely want to check them dimensions out maybe make some measurements in your case and uh, make sure something like this would fit but this is uh, right up there in the top end of the uh, CPU coolers that are on the market right now uh, competing with uh, Noxua's computer or uh, coolers and uh, some of the others like uh, Silver Arrow some of the uh, higher brands that are on the market right now okay on our test results the uh, test bed for this is going to be a Intel Core i7 920 running at 3.6 gigahertz uh, we're going to look at the uh, minimum temperature maximum temperature uh, idle temperature on it was 32.3 Celsius uh, max load temperature on it was 52.1 Celsius so uh, overall some pretty good results from this cooler uh, it is a, a wonderful product uh, state-of-the-art cooler designed for the uh, newest of CPUs out there it does come with eight six millimeter copper cores um, I love the fact that it has the fan controller with the PWM or the VR switch gives you a lot of control over temperature so whether you're looking for uh, something to use with your new multi-core setup whether it's AMD or Intel I think this would be a good choice to look at before you buy one um, just might want to compare some of the temperatures some of the uh, ratings on this one before uh, buying a new CPU cooler because I think you'd be impressed with it for the uh, price that they sell them for but anyway that's going to do it for this uh, product showcase we want to thank Scythe for providing this for our showcase once again this is their mine 2 CPU cooler and I want to thank you for watching <laughs>